have to take advantage when they come your way. How gratifying is it when they do and you make it the way you do? Uh, it's awesome just being able to be reliable, you know, when Justin and the offense needs us. What was the reaction from some of the teammates when you make a one-handed catch there in the back of the end zone? Uh, that was awesome. You know, the best part is going over the sideline and seeing, you know, my unit, uh, you know, Jake, Ruff, Mitch, Rashad, all uh, getting pumped up for it. And then we did when uh, Jake scored later. Is there a, is there a sense from you guys, among you guys that gets to the end of the year and you can still start finding more ways? I mean, it's the same question we ask you all the time. Like, can the tight ends get more catches? Is there a sense that that could happen down the stretch? I mean, whenever they need us, like I said, you know, we're going to be there. It's a really good group of tight ends, and you're the starter. How much pride do you take in that? I know it's you know, not trying to be selfish, but just, you know, you're the starter in this. I'm just really proud of our group. You know, like I was saying, you know, the way we lift each other up and work with each other has been amazing. Do you have a sense of how big that moment was for Austin? Uh, I think it was pretty big for him, and uh, we were really happy for him. You know, all he all he does is put his head down to work, and he's had to deal through deal with uh, work through some injuries and stuff here and there, and it was awesome. What do you think about Rashad playing both ways? I know he's played both defensive end and tight end during his career, but not necessarily at the same time like he is now. Yeah, and uh, you know that's a you know just a testament to what he can he's capable of. You know, he's uh, you know very gifted, and then. Him being able to manage it, you know, mentally going back and forth between meetings and and uh, just being able to bring the same energy has been awesome. Penn State has one of the best tight ends in the country in Fryermuth. I know you guys won't be out there at the same time playing against each other, but is there any talk in the room like, hey, we want to prove that we're, we're pretty good at the, at the tight end position? I mean, there hasn't been a lot of talk. You know, I mean, we obviously watch a lot of their defense. And, uh, you know, we don't pay a ton of attention to their offense, but I mean, we just want to be the best group we can be. You guys hey, look, for, go ahead. Do you guys consider this a rivalry game? I know Michigan's been big one for the last couple of years. Uh, nothing like the, you know, the team up north, but uh, you know they've obviously given us a great game the past however many years, and uh, we don't take them lightly at all. And, yeah. So what makes for a rivalry game then, if like it going down to the final minute, three years in a row? <laughs> I mean, I think if you just not to, I mean, not no, you know what I'm saying. Put any yeah. matchup yeah. down, but if you look at the history of us, you know, with the game. Uh, it's, it's yeah. Hey, yo, real quick. Last week, uh, when you guys got stoned at the one yard line, I, I counted you guys offensive line and stuff. Was that just sort of a wake up call that uh, about uh, taking care of business? I mean, how, how did how, what's that a spur like? I guess for you guys just, going in this uh, week, just shows us we need to stay on top of our communication at all times. You know, no communication mishap, which we have gotten fixed and continue to talk through. You know, it's yeah. always important to keep you talking. Talk Sorry, you talked about Penn State's defense. What do you see when you scout them? Uh, they play really hard. You know, they got some uh, good DNs and they both in. And, you know, um, like I said, they're not scared of anything. And we're ready for that you know, tough kind of game. When yeah. you're getting ready for a tough game, do you need to be extra tough in practice, being that that's what you're getting ready for, or do you need to back off a little because that being the extra refreshed team will be an extra benefit in a game like that? You know, I think we just need to do what we've been doing. You know, uh, we practice really hard. You know, we practice against the best defense in the country. So I mean, you know, keep doing what we're doing. Look, how how, uh, how deep is this offensive playbook that you guys? I don't know if you have a playbook. It's probably on a tablet. You know, but I mean, just how deep is this Ohio State offensive playbook? I mean, I couldn't put a number on like plays. But or I anything, mean, is it, but but they, we do we, a lot of variations with stuff. You know, never like with tendencies and everything. Try to. You know, change it up and then obviously fit it to whatever week we're getting, what kind of defense, coverage front. And, uh, you know, Coach Day is one of the best offensive minds. So. That's what I wanted to ask you. Does it, it seems like y'all always have an answer when somebody poses y'all a question defensively. Eventually, y'all find the answer. Uh, That's preparation and uh, ability to adjust, you know, during the game, coming off, like I said, communicating, talking at halftime, and all those things that go into it, which is offensive staff as a whole. Yeah. Is this a week we're having that? Having but a more of an emphasis on the two tight end stuff this year could really pay off. I will see where the where the game takes us. You know, when those situations will be ready. You know, whether it's one or three of us, two of us out there, it doesn't really matter. Why do you think um, teams have had a tough time running on Penn State? You mentioned some of their defensive ends, but they've been a hard team to run on this year. I think they're they're really sound in what they do, and they, like I said, they come off and hit you. They're not afraid to hit you in the mouth and, and see how you respond. So we have to respond the right way. Is it more of an attitude, or do they have really good players? What do you see? Is on their They're always going to have. I mean, they always, you know, recruit well. Obviously, they play. Like I said, they do their job well and play tough.
how are they similar or different to Wisconsin? Because that was another good rush defense you faced but had success against. Uh, I would say they have a similar mindset, you know, how they attack their defensive uh, scheme, but obviously they're there's variations in what they do, and uh, you know, like we've been preparing all week to uh, you know respond the right way. You know, Michigan State, Wisconsin, y'all, y'all seemed even though they had these high rated, highly rated defenses against the run, Wisconsin was number one against the run when y'all played them. Y'all seemed intent on cracking that nut, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that kind of the mindset you guys have? Yeah, we t- we take pride in that up front. You know, as O line and tight end unit. Um, you know, it's a huge goal of ours. You know, just control the line of scrimmage. That's a yeah. big part of winning those games. But it, but if it doesn't crack open the first time, y'all keep trying, right? I mean, uh, what, what, yeah. where's that come from? Uh, you know, our preparations from all the way off season, winter, all the way through camp and everything. You know, we're just gonna keep pounding away at it throughout the game. Thanks, Luke. So what sort of emotional boost is having Chase Young back? I know he's been in practice, but now that he's going for game prep and all that, and obviously he's been playing good. Uh, huge, you know, we have, you know, a lot of confidence in him, and as a leader too, uh, getting one of our captains back is huge for the whole team. Does it, even with the offense, just to see him mm-hmm. on the other side, you're like, all right. Yeah, you definitely feel his presence at practice, you know, and and like I said, uh, being able to go against those guys every day it just makes us that much better.